Well, guys, as things change, as they always do, as is life, Miss Sparkles decided that she wanted to freaking Kuklairs. If she makes one more Kuklair, I'm telling you. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway. <laughs> She's psychotic. Anyway. Miss Sparkles has decided that she wanted to room over here with uh, Mochi and Mooney. Momo. And Moo Moo. So I let her. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I tell you, I tell you, I don't say this to be mean, but some of them, some of them hit different, you know? Uh, licorice has been tough. Licorice has been a really tough loss. And we've lost goats before and it's been hard and I guess that's what I mean when I say some of them, some of them hit different, man. Some of them, I don't know if I want to say some of them mean more to you, but that's the feeling, I guess, sometimes. Last year was tough, guys. I mean, we lost two goats in the last four years, four or five years. I can't, I can't remember exactly the math. Uh, we lost Brownie on year two, and we lost Gypsy, which you guys never saw. I wasn't doing video at the time. Brownie was pregnant, didn't give birth properly. Babies got stuck. Uh, she ended up basically with an infection. The babies had gotten stuck and died inside of her. And by the time she tried to kid them... Uh, it was a mess. It was a mess. I, I had to pull them out and I thought they were actually going to tear apart as I was trying to get them out of her. And she ended up with an infection and passed away from that, I believe is why. We don't really know. And then we had Gypsy. Look, y'all, I'm over 2024. I don't need any newness in my life. I don't need the universe. Can we, can we just go to 2025? I don't need this crap like, hey, guess what? You guys have never dealt with Listeria before. Let's try that out. No. Full pass. I say that because Gypsy had gotten picked up an extremely rare, untreatable, unfixable staph infection. It, it was a strain of staph that infected her mammary glands and was completely unable to be treated by any current known medication on this farm. Never happened since, never happened before that I know of. And her end result was it, it literally ate a hole right through the side of her udder. And the only possible outcome was to take her to Ohio State University, uh, the vet care they have there, and have her entire mammary gland system removed and the odds of her surviving that surgery were basically like one percent so we opted not to do that and we ended up putting her down uh like uh, who why anyway last year sucked uh i say that because when you look at see we built uh, we built the barn I want to say it was 2017. These, this is the um, Valley View Construction. This is the Amish company that we use to build this barn, and I had them write all their names on the on the barn there to sign it, basically. And I think that was 17. I think we lost Brownie in 18 or early 19. We lost Gypsy in 20. And I think I started the channel in 21. Since either since 2020 
or 2019, we haven't lost a single goat on this farm outside of babies. You know, babies, that's a whole different ball game. Uh, things happen. Some of them are born, stillborn. Some of them die right after they're born. Some of them, some of them fail to thrive and grow. As you guys have been able to experience. Well, that doesn't sound good. I don't know if you guys can hear the sirens or not. Don't normally hear sirens out here a lot. But as, as you guys have experienced with us over the last couple of years, uh, births just go wrong sometimes. Sometimes kids will live for two, three weeks and pass away for just seemingly no apparent reason. Um, but I'm telling you, we have not lost a goat on this farm in two to three years until last year. And last year, I count Charlie, sweet Charlie, Charlie, Jack, Brosie, Summer, and now this year, Licorice. I mean, were we due? Jeez Louise. So, <laughs> last year was tough. I mean, I can't, uh, hey, stop it. No. Look, we're not going to have the battle of the Cuclairs. Come on, girls. <laughs> Gingy. Come on, Gingy babes. Oh, my gosh. Take your time. <laughs> Get your... <laughs> She's, she's getting a twofer, maybe a threefer. She's got this arm being scratched, that arm being scratched, and she's getting a good belly scratch on the on the food container. This is why you guys see the food containers after they eat are always just laying on the floor somewhere because they rub on them. All right, you ready? Take your time. No, we can... Where's your collar? Why are you missing your collar? Come on. Oh, Genji, go. I can't let the... I can't let... See, no. I can't let this in. No, 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 no. All right, come on, Tick. Goodness, my best goat, Tic Tac. Hey, you're cute. <laughs> okay, enough of the doom and gloom. I can't, I can't, man. And you know, and we, we struggled with considering the thought that we got into goats really quickly. We kind of went from zero to 100. We went from two to, to 20, and they're all roughly the same age, and we were considering at a certain point, you know, they say eight to 12 years is about the lifespan of a Nigerian dwarf, and we were considering, like, somewhere between that range in eight to 12 years, we're going to have massive dead loss of, you know, all of our original goats all at the same time. Let's see who's in heat today. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Thank you, Drummy. <laughs> okay, well, okay. All right, let's keep this PG. Well, okay, it, it can't get, you can't, it, it can't, ay, 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 back that thing up, yep, <laughs> I can't help you, honey, you have to wait, you have to wait, about April, I'd say, we're gonna start breeding you girls, okay, couple months, what, <laughs> what, can you do that again, please, because it's ridiculously adorable, Your mama's coming to check on you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jelly's trying to figure out how to pee on his face. <laughs> did, you, did you get it on ya? Oh, put it away, bro. No, don't put it, not in your mouth. You guys are gross. Um, I'm just gonna show you this because it's ridiculously cute. <laughs> a 
Okay, how does that attract a woman? How? Ugh, good night. Oh, this is gonna be a loud day today. I don't even know where my train of thought was going. Anyway, this one's having babies in a couple weeks. Yeah, March 6th, it's here. It is, it is here. You guys, I'm, I am not kidding. When I say freaking Koo Claire's are crazy, man. If I had to pick the craziest goat in the barn, it would be this one. And this one's right behind her. Koo Claire. I know there's another one that acts crazy. Besides Latte. Ah, there it is. The Twinkster. Hi. And... Shug, are you in heat, baby? <laughs> Moony, moon, moon. Okay, guys. Just my my crazy thoughts for the day. Hi, Silver Queen. What happened? I don't know. Sometimes I'm not sure if I need to run with them for my life. You guys want to take a walk? It's nice. Probably not. So it looks like just Miss Cookie and uh, Drummy are in heat. Sugar Pie is definitely in heat. She's had like nine goats rubbing on her. She's more ladylike. <sighs> Twink is in heat. <laughs> Maybe. Um, Muffin should be coming back into heat. Hi, sweet Drummy face. Marlin, the heat detector. You're on it, buddy. Yep. All right. Hi, Boots. All right, guys. I really don't have a lot today. I'm going to do some fencing. Because I really, really, really got to, I really, I don't know, got to, want to, have to, need to get, get this done within the next couple weeks. So we, that's something we definitely need to, to work on. You literally spat on her, dude. Goodness. Jelly's still trying to figure out how his little man bits work. <laughs> this is a Jack Sprinkles baby. And he, he will rule this roost. I have no doubt in my mind. He will be, I cannot touch you, bro. It's yellow for a reason. Yeah, it's yellow for a reason. It is. It's yellow for a reason. He's beautiful. But he's going to be the king goat as soon as he's big enough to contend with uh, Snickers. No doubt in my mind. Why are you the only goat that does that? I will look over here and Genji will... I don't know if you guys caught that out of the corner or not. She just likes to get... She'll just... Get on the ground and roll over on her back and get a good scratch going and flip on over. And you look out the window and you see a goat with four legs in the air. That's never good. But then it's Genji. I don't... What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cookie, can you get any closer? <laughs> Smell me, peasants. Smell me. <laughs> Genji, poor baby. She's not far out. I think she's she's one of the ones due March 18th. So she, yeah, she was the one last year that would just like lay down and roll around. And I thought, what is going on? I know she was getting close to giving birth and it's like, not today, you're still a week out or whatever. And just her doing her thing. Now we know she does it. So not as, not as scary when you see her out here rolling around goat color all right that is all that is a beautiful scene get you some goats y'all make you some baby goats <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> these are the days i need a camera just pointing at this fence so you guys can just 
pop in and watch every now and then. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's sunbathing time. It's time for me to go make some soap and then uh, get some fencing done. What are you looking at me for? I can't help you. So, so much of his mom in him. He's a latte baby too. But Brosie was... Oh, Mr. Marlin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you okay? You know, I think back about the loss. And it's definitely outweighed by the winds. The number of people that have bought our goats that I'm still in constant contact with that are just happier than they've ever been, started their own goat farms, now have these huge operations that just never knew until they had goats. And being a part of that, being a part of <laughs> you guys, and you guys being a part of this, as, as, as hard as it is to say, it's, it's worth every loss. And the losses are difficult. But this... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of my favorites still... If you guys go to Instagram and look up JD Lane Farm... We had a little buck and we didn't know what we were going to do with him and we didn't have a home for him and they were only coming to get their two goats and when they came over here his name is Waylon now and he is absolutely gorgeous he's a beautiful boy and he 100 percent claimed them that day didn't he? He did. He was like, I love you guys. He was basically, he was kind of like Marlon here. He was just like, hey, can you pet me? Hey, I'm going to nibble on your pants until you pet me. And I know with zero hesitation that they are 100% in love with Waylon. <laughs> you can't live with regrets. You can't, you can't, cause you gotta take this and you gotta say, yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> I, it's, okay, it's not gonna be worth it if you bite my finger, you're gonna change this whole conversation. <laughs> you're such a goober. This guy, you are a hundred, okay, we'll say 99% your mama. Sweet Brosy, for those of you who never really knew Sweet Brosy, Ambrosia, she would just come up and stand beside you. She never demanded pets. She never wanted anything. She would just come stand beside you and that's when you knew she wanted her pets. She was as calm, as chill, as just, just a whole beautiful spirit as this guy is. <laughs> Some of your goats end up as background goats. And she never was, even though she was, even though this was her demeanor, she was always, I don't know, she was just so sweet. Just like you, guy. See, he won't even look up at you when you quit petting. He'll be like, look, okay, you can keep petting me now. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful President Snow. You, on the other hand, 